After being in corporate finance for over 20 years and training hundreds of other professionals, I can say that most people in the field suck at creating presentations. You see, the job of finance professionals consists in two parts. First one, there's the analytical side. You get the numbers, you gather and filter data, you create forecasts, you build models. But the second part is presenting that data in a way that's easy to understand and helps decision makers. That's why in this video, I'll show you exactly how to create the perfect PowerPoint presentation that transforms your usual overwhelming deck into clear insights and help you stand out from the crowd as a finance professional. And at the end, I'll even give you a live demonstration of it all. So let's dive in. Let's start with the message not the design. What's the one thing your audience needs to remember? That's your North Star. Every slide should communicate one clear message. Not two, not three, just one. This single message will drive all your design decisions moving forward. Now, for the title, forget generic ones like monthly results. They tell us nothing. Instead, make your headline specific and action-oriented. For example, customer churn reduced revenues by 12% in Q2. Now that gets attention. Your headline becomes the filter for what belongs on this slide and what doesn't. After that, you should choose a single visualization. The key here is to pick the right chart based on what story you're telling. If you're showing trends over time, you can use line charts. If you're comparing categories side by side, use column charts. If you need to highlight one crucial KPI, use indicator visuals. If you want to explain how something breaks down, use stack chart. And for variance analysis, use the one that I prefer, the waterfall chart. And if you want to tell a story with your presentation, you'll need to highlight what actually matters. Tone down the less important data, it's just background noise, and clear labels to the most critical numbers and use call-out boxes to explain why something matters. This is where you add insights. With this, you can guide your audience's eyes exactly where you want them to look. Finally, add just enough supporting text. Use bullet points to create a natural hierarchy. Keep it scannable and avoid big paragraphs. But be ruthless about what stays. If it doesn't support your message, it doesn't belong there. Before I show you how to structure your presentation, I wanted to tell you that I created an ultra guide that's over 200 pages long and contains literally everything I know about financial storytelling. And I'm giving it away completely for free. You can click on the first link in the description to get it. Now back to the video. Now let's learn how to structure the presentation. Open with your main message. I know it doesn't happen often, but don't save it for the end. Especially with executives, they want the bottom line first. Then you can provide the supporting evidence that backs it up. And for each supporting message, give its own dedicated slide. Each slide should contribute to your overall narrative and story you want to tell. Also, make sure you stick to that. One message per slide rule religiously. This creates a clear logical flow that's easy to follow. And finally, finish with discussion points and concrete next steps. Don't just end with, do you have any questions? I'm there for it. You want to facilitate the conversation and these slides are there for that. Present options showing the quantified impacts of each where possible and always link back to the bigger picture. But there are some mistakes to avoid in slides. One of the most common mistakes I see amongst finance professionals is ignoring their audience. Presenting the same way to everyone is like wearing the same outfit to every occasion. Executives need a different approach than subject matter experts. For example, while executives want to know the final conclusion and recommendations, subject matter experts usually want to understand your thought process behind it. Another mistake is not being prepared for time constraints. Let's say you've prepared for 30 minutes, but suddenly you only have five. Always have your elevator pitch version ready as well in case you need it. Now, let's move to the example, transforming a bad slide into a good one. Let's have a look at the bad slide. You will have a generic title. Your slide will be crammed with four separate charts that overlap in what they're showing. You also have overwhelming redundant information. You'll have 
text that looks more like a novel than a text made to explain things quickly to your audience. And you have, with all these, no visual hierarchy and no white space. Now let's see how we can do the transformation process. First, let's identify the real message hidden in all of that data. That's the headline. Now we'll select the right visualization to tell this story. Once we selected the right visualization, it's time to declutter and focus on the right data points. Now we'll highlight what truly matters. Finally, let's add just enough supporting text. And that gives us a good slide with a strong headline, a clean chart, a visual hierarchy that naturally directs attention to what matters, supporting bullet points that provide necessary context, a clear takeaway that points toward action, and enough white space to create visual balance and clarity. So that's how you create a perfect PowerPoint presentation as a finance professional. Now, if you want to go deeper, I've created an ultra guide to financial storytelling with 200 pages of my best techniques, including presentation strategies, visual design tips, and how to handle difficult questions. Just click the first link in the description to get it for free. It contains everything you need as a finance professional to master communication and stand out from the crowd. And if you're a finance leader looking to elevate your entire team's skills, I also offer tailored training programs. You'll find a link to book a call with me to talk more about this in the description as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.